Today we're going to make hummus from scratch. Um, I know today there's almost a aisle or section dedicated to store-bought hummus. Uh, several brands and types from red pepper hummus to roasted garlic to pine nuts to Greek olive. Um, so it's super popular and extremely healthy, but it can kind of be expensive in the stores. So I thought I'd show you how to make it at home from scratch. Um, it's only a few ingredients and uh, some of them are even optional. Um, vegetarians love it. Uh, people that aren't vegetarians love it. You can use it on your salad. You can dip it with pita chips. You can dip it with uh, tortilla chips. Uh, you can use it on vegetables as a dip. Um, it's really a fabulous, uh, very healthy, high protein, low fat, low carb uh, dip that um, has a lot of variety to it and really easy to make. So let's get going. Um, the first thing we need, uh, the main ingredient of course, is a can of chickpeas. Uh, these are also called garbanzo beans, uh, so if you see them under that name, it's exactly the same thing. So we're going to uh, take one can, which is 15 ounce can of uh, chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and we're going to rinse and drain them. And that's really the main ingredient uh, for hummus. And you might notice that there are little skins on the uh, chickpeas. Um, and you can take each one off. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, they just sort of peel off and um, you have these skins. And you would do that if you wanted super, um, super smooth hummus. But uh, I'm not going to go through that today. Um, like I said, you can do it if you want your hummus super duper smooth. Sometimes they just fall off a little bit by themselves. but if you really wanted it uh, super smooth, you'd have to kind of take each one off. All right, so we also need uh, tahini. And um, this is one of the optional ingredients. Um, you can get this in a jar. Sometimes it comes in a can. Um, it's basically just ground sesame seeds with a little bit of oil. And you can make your own tahini. Um, if you didn't have any and you had sesame seeds on hand, it would be easy enough to make this. But um, I just have this jar here, so I thought I would um, use this. So you can put about a quarter cup of tahini in, depending if you like that sort of toasted -y, nutty sesame flavor or not. Um, it's really up to you. And like I said, you could just leave it out totally if you wanted to. Get that in there. There you go. Very good. And then we're going to put in some salt. Let's see, a half a teaspoon of salt. Throw that in. Half a teaspoon of cumin. I love cumin. Half a teaspoon of cumin. I absolutely love cumin. Oh, it, I just, it's a, one of my favorite spices. It's kind of citrusy and limey. It has uh, just such a tremendous amount of flavor to it. Let's see. And our two tablespoons of olive oil. And the juice, we're also gonna put in the juice of one lemon. So let's see, cut this. I did wash this lemon before I put it out here. And we're just gonna get this juiced. This is a nice juicy lemon. 
good to go. All right. And then we're just going to whip this together. That was probably about a quarter cup of lemon juice uh, that we were getting out of our lemon. All right, so now we're just going to let this run for about 30 seconds. All right, that ought to do it. You want to just scrape this down. It's super creamy. Came out beautifully ready for the rest of our ingredients that we're going to add. Um, normally people only add one clove of garlic. It's you know completely up to how much garlic you like. Um, you could put no garlic in if you absolutely dislike uh, raw garlic. Uh, my family loves garlic so I'm just going to give it a rough chop. It's going to go in the food processor so we don't have to be too concerned with it. Okay. So that's two cloves of garlic we put in. And then we're going to start adding the chickpeas. There they are. And we're just going to process this. Probably for about one minute, and then we can scrape it down and try uh, try to process it a little more if it needs it. All right, stop that. It's smooth and creamy now. Process it again. You can see how fast this goes. I mean, this is like hardly any work at all. There we go. And then to make it extra smooth, we're just gonna add a little bit of water. Try one tablespoon. Let's try one tablespoon first, and then we'll see if we need to add more. Smells good. Okay. Oh, yeah. That made it creamy. Still a little tiny bit thick. Maybe we'll add about half a half a eh, about half a tablespoon, maybe three quarters. See how that works. I love that lemon smell and the cumin and the tahini. It's that rich, nutty flavor. Okay, here we go. Ooh. All right. Well, believe it or not, it's done. You could add other things if you wanted to. You can have some red pepper. Um, and put that in and make red pepper hummus that's really easy to do. Just throw it on in there um, and, and process away and it'll become that beautiful red uh, color. Um, just delicious. So now we're going to put it in a little bowl. Oh, so beautiful. There's almost no reason not to make this yourself rather than buying it because it's just so quick and easy. And uh, you can get those gar oops get those garbanzo beans for about fifty cents a can. 
Um, doesn't have to be any fancy name brand. And I think if you don't have tahini, I wouldn't let that stop me. Um, you can certainly make this without uh, tahini. Lots of people like it that way even better if they're not tahini fans. All right, and then, mm, oh my goodness. Oh, that lemony flavor. Sometimes just give it a little drizzle of oil on the top. And then a little sprinkle of, cum of uh, paprika. The cumin's already in it. And there you have it. Hummus. Delicious, nutritious, easy to make, inexpensive, high protein, low fat, low carb. You can put it on almost anything. It's uh, really a fantastic treat. All right, so I have some carrot sticks, some crackers, and some even potato chips that uh, you can use to dip the hump, dip with the hummus. Mm mm mm. Smells fabulous. Mmm. That is so good. That is so good. I think you're going to like this better than what you've been buying in the grocery store. It is smooth. Got a little tang from the lemon. It is rich and creamy. I just love this. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cape House Cooking, and I'll see you next time. Mm. I have to try it with a chip. Mmm. Good on almost anything.